That might be as good as I'm gonna get there. <laughs> the plate clogged up the sprayer, but I still got paint on the trailer. So. I'm gonna go get me something to clean all this in. Maybe an old milk jug or something. Right These here old rubber gloves really did go, do a good deal as far as keeping that stuff off my hands. That last stuff I shot through there was xylol. It's a little bit, I don't know, stronger than just plain turpentine. And I wanted to run some through the gun. This gun is made so you can really take it all apart and clean everything. Uh, it's much more, but as far as cleaning goes, much more user friendly than a regular, like a Binks paint, real paint spray gun. But it slings paint, and that's all I wanted, you know. Um, I probably got about a half a gallon of paint on these two trailers. And that's a lot, but that's what I wanted. I wanted to get a lot on there. Go get me a jug. I'll be right back. I'm going to do a little quick walk around. I put bags over my tires over here to keep paint off of them. I might still have got a little bit on one. I noticed the bag slipped. And uh, so that I wouldn't paint my, ta my, uh, my tail lights. So I'm gonna cut y'all off while I clean all this up. By the way, this sprayer motor the paint doesn't go through then so even though it's got paint on the outside it doesn't go through it all the stuff that it goes through is right here so I'm gonna take all this put it in a bucket with some with some xylol or paint thinner or something we'll clean all that up and then we'll be ready to paint again hopefully next time <laughs>